Hello dear traders, let us review the major market events of the past week. US stocks retreated on Monday awaiting central bank policy decisions. The Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 0.44% and the Nasdaq Composite slid 0.37%. The S&P 500 dropped 0.45% with healthcare and consumer shares leading the decliners. US dollar index, a measure of the dollar strength against a basket of six currencies, edged up 0.09% to 100.14, while the sales on Cyber Monday, the busiest day of the year for internet shopping, were up 14% from a year earlier, the retail stocks were down. On Tuesday, oil futures quotes were falling on concerns US inventories rose more than expected on the backdrop of current global glut. The industry group American Petroleum Institute estimated the U.S. crude inventories rose 1.6 million barrels in the week, more than the 1.2 million barrel increase forecasted by pricing agency plats. Copper slid 0.9% after U.S. manufacturing contracted unexpectedly in November. U.S. stocks dropped on Wednesday as falling oil prices weighed on energy stocks and Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen remarks indicated the central bank is on track to raise interest rates in December. The S&P 500 dropped 1.1% with energy shares leading the decliners. The dollar hit 13-year high. On Thursday, the European stocks experienced the sharpest fall in four months from the three-month high after the ECB decisions were revealed. The Euro-US dollar aged up by 3.1%, which is its record daily increase since March 2009. Analysts and markets were anticipating more aggressive measures of monetary stimulus from the ECB. The base rate remained unchanged at 0.05%. As for the parameters of the QE program, its volume was not expanded despite the expectations, but Mario Draghi said it would be extended for six more months. Oil edged down after OPEC decided on Friday to leave the oil quotes unchanged at current 30 million barrels a day and the actual output volumes at 31.5 million barrels. The longs in oil fell to the five-year lows according to U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission. The grain futures showed the stable growth amid the heightened demand from China. On Wednesday, the monthly report from the U.S. Department of Agriculture will come out, which may influence the grains. Markets assume the crop forecast may be reduced. This week, we recommend paying attention to China's trade balance on Monday, the Bank of Canada governor's speech on Tuesday, the unemployment and retail sales in U.S. on Thursday and Friday, respectively. Let us remind you that the Fed stipulated high perils and inflation as the key factors for interest rates hike. For this reason, we expect abnormally high volatility on the stock and forex markets. This was all for this week. Happy trading and see you next week.